Hey Aries, welcome to your love and romance reading for June 2020. This is going to be for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising. And yes, my darlings, of course, Venus as well. I know a lot of people like to check out their Venus when it comes to love. If you're sick and tired of love, but you're just watching this because you're bored or you've got nothing else to do, or if you care about your life outside of love and romance, be sure to check out the weekly forecast that I do on the channel. Every week I do a reading for like finances, spirituality, career, uh, and once a month I do a love reading. So this is the love reading. Let's see, my dears. You guys are starting it off with courage, all right? This is going to be courage, but this is also the 11th major arcana. So it has a different name in most decks. Maybe you can guess it. This is going to be the traditional tarot calls the justice card. Well, that might be interesting. Why is it being called the courage card in this deck? Well, because sometimes we need courage to do the right thing, okay? Or sometimes we need courage to stand up to somebody uh, or to uphold our rights in a situation because the justice can be about the justice card can be about assertiveness and setting boundaries and standing up for yourself uh so there could be these kinds of issues coming up in your love life in the month of may uh, i'm sorry in the month of june excuse me in the month of june aries um regardless of if it's within you or your relationship or you keeping people outside of your relationship so there could be really opinionated friends or family and you might be having to kind of draw draw a line with them um or you could be dealing with a very significant soulmate that you guys have a past life contract with one another that you agreed that you would meet in this lifetime for the reason of learning boundaries, learning boundaries, learning fairness, uh, you know, learning to do the right thing. Some of you Aries, I'm not going to lie to you and, you know, it's, it's not going to be all of you, but some of you, this is coming up in around the lines of like uh, doing the right thing. You might be tempted to um, get into a situation or into a relationship that might be considered unethical or hurtful uh, to to somebody. Uh, you might be tempted to, to get involved with somebody else's partner, some of you, or some of you might have somebody else's partner really pursuing you. But, you know, just this card and things come up about ethics and doing the right thing and doing what's fair. It could also be standing up for yourself for some of you. Now, don't forget the fact that the justice card also is going to indicate Libra. And I don't know what it is about <laughs> Aries and Libra, but a lot of you have been confirming it in the comments for months, for months you guys keep popping up in each other's readings. And for some of you, it's the Libra aspect within your chart really coming to full force and helping you get uh, control of your emotions when it comes to love life and love situations and making good decisions. And for other ones of you, you may be dealing with a Libra. But, you know, Libra comes up with Aries' energy an awful lot um, in the readings lately. So here, okay, so here's what it is. You might be laying down some rules because there might be things that you're not happy about five of chalices five of chalices can also indicate uh a situation where somebody is self-medicating whether they're drinking um to you know drown their sorrows uh whether they're doing something with substance uh, substances or just being a workaholic or being somebody who is um you know, finding other ways to, to distract themselves. It could be video games, it could be gambling, but anybody who like, they don't want to feel and they'll, they'll just shut off. They don't want to feel feelings. They'll shut off. They'll find some way to self-medicate. And the justice card could be that that's something you don't want to deal with anymore, Aries. You may be coming into the energy where you're like, I don't want to be with someone who's going to be avoiding their emotions. I don't want to be with someone who's going to be running away from feelings and like shutting themselves off. Like I want that connection. I want that connection. I want a relationship where we can sit down and talk and figure things out. You know, I don't want someone who's just going to like go be a zombie and like veg out in some way. And so that's the feeling that I'm getting here with the five of cups. Five of cups can also indicate uh, especially coming in along with the justice card that 
um, you're not happy with the way a situation has been going and it hasn't been going as you had expected, right? Like you had a different idea of how things would go. So whether this is in an existing relationship or uh, you're starting to get to know someone and you're like, ah, I kind of expected better from them. Justice card is like you're you might kind of have to stand up and speak up about that and you might have to make some of the rules clear here and when I say rules I don't mean giving somebody an ultimatum because the truth is ultimatums never work right even if the person was on your side to begin with anytime somebody comes at us and they're like it has to be like this or else you know people's natural reaction is to be like okay well then bye you know so ultimatums never work um and uh and uh this is gonna be though about like setting the boundaries setting the healthy boundaries and uh expressing what you feel expressing what you want and i feel like somebody's gonna have to step up or you're gonna be done now because this is a major arcana card it could be aries in a gosh um, you know, I hope it's not for many of you. I hope it's for like a small percentage. It could also be boundaries with like you're disappointed in how uh, people in your life have accepted your love life or have accepted your partner. And so you might be feeling a need to set boundaries in that way. Like, I don't want to say you're choosing somebody over your friends or family, but you're having to get really, really like like, thank you, I love you, but my, you know, who I'm with or, or who I'm dating or, you know, whether I'm single or whether I'm with somebody, like, that's not your area to chime in about in my life. That's not your territory to be stepping into and to be telling me, you know, if I should be single or if I should be in a relationship or if I should be with this person or that person. So, but I feel with the Five of Cups, you guys are kind of like disappointed. You're disappointed and you're realizing that somebody's not going to get the hint or they're not going to figure it out or they're not going to, you know, step back if, you know, you're kind of avoiding a topic or subject with them. And you might be having to speak up and you might be having to say, look, I want my relationships to work out. And in the past, outside influences have really, really negatively affected my relationships and I don't want to do that anymore. Some of you are learning not to go to friends and family uh, and talk about your relationship <clears throat> because you're finding that like they're gossiping or they're taking little situations and they're turning them into a big deal and uh, you're just like, oh, okay, I don't need that drama. I don't, I, I just, I keep hearing I don't need that drama. Your next card here is the venerable woman which is a fancy way a fancy title of the high priestess okay so if you guys have pisces um or taurus in your placements this could definitely be an aspect that's coming up for some of you uh in your energy some of you could be dealing with a feminine pisces or taurus uh partner who is also a significant soulmate coming in here um, but the, 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 the high priestess card typically for me in love readings, it's telling me that you're dealing with a situation where somebody might kind of be a little bit obsessed with you. All right. They're obsessed with you, but they might not be ready for you because the thing about the high priestess card is when she comes up in my readings, the way that I read the card and the way I see it come up for the people I read for usually, um, is that like you're going through this really massive shift where your chakras are opening up and aligning. You're really connected with higher self. Like you really know yourself right now. You're very confident. Uh, you've done your healing. Like you've, you've done your release of like the things you need to release. And you're ready to just kind of live your life and listen to your intuition, listen to your inner judgment. Uh, you know, you have a really strong feeling, a really strong intuition right now. And you're in this kind of like place of like being healed and being ready. And like those chakras are all clear and lined up. And so you have this beautiful, beautiful energy running through your body. And it makes you very irresistible. 
it makes you very, very irresistible. And so you're going to find there's going to be all of a sudden, it's like you're this light and all the moths are coming rushing at you. Uh, they don't know what you are. They're just mesmerized by you and they want to be near you. And so this is one thing you're going to have to keep in mind Aries, especially when it comes to this uh, uh, situation of temptation, right? Like it could be, oh, we have this massive chemistry and they're like, they're so into me, but they're married and I'm married, but maybe this is my twin flame. Uh, I got news for you guys. Um, I'm not, I, I'm not saying twin flames don't exist. I do believe in twin flame, but twin flame is super, super spiritual process. And when the twin flames do come into union, it's a spiritual partnership. It's not like a, like a marriage that we see in like the human realm. It's not like a, uh, you know, romantic thing. You know, it, 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 the twin flame ascends the love to a very spiritual place. And it's usually about like doing good or doing service uh, for mankind. That's why they come together. Um, so the high priestess is letting you know, you're going to be getting a lot of attention. You're going to get a lot of persistent people, like people who just like they're obsessing about you, but they're not necessarily ready for you. What's happening is a lot of these people have a lot of healing to do and they feel this energy running through your body. And it's just like, oh my God, I like, I want to have a piece of that. They don't understand what's happening, right? It's, this is all like, you know, a uh, subconscious or like in, in the spiritual level or spiritual plane. Uh, but they may chase after you. And this card is saying, look, don't just kind of step off your throne and be like, okay, here I am. Let's do this. You know, this person's going to have to go through some things. They're going to have to go through some questions. They're going to have to go through, go through some, like, you know, the test of time before you're going to like, just let them in and say, okay, you may approach, <laughs> you may approach high, the high priestess, you know? So I think boundaries and stuff, it's all kind of making sense, Aries. Okay. Whether you're single or whether you're in a relationship, it doesn't matter. You're going to get a lot of attention in June. And some of these people are going to be super persistent, but don't, don't confuse their persistence with being in love and don't confuse their persistence with being ready. They're just like, they're just salivating, chomping at the bit to get near you. Um, but they may not understand you just yet because you're coming into a very highly evolved spiritual place, right? And you need to be aware of that. And so you need to also be aware that, uh, not everyone who wants you is ready to handle you, okay? Your next card here is the Nine of Wands. And so this is about defenses, my dear. This is about defenses. We talked about it. We talked about it. And some of you are sick of this. You're like, you know what? Like, this has been uh, something that's been going on about boundaries or people who aren't ready for me or me having to speak up or me having to, like, you know, uh, you know, set down the ground rules. And some of you are really tired of it. And Knight of Wands says, don't be discouraged. This You're almost out of this uh, period or you're almost out of this, I don't know if I want to say lesson, but this cycle of your life. You're doing a really good job. Um, it's almost over, right? Because 10, 10 is done, 10 is complete. For other ones of you, you're going to get very nervous, very, very nervous about how many people are showing interest in you and you're going to get very nervous about oh gosh like you know I, I know I have to be careful and Amethyst said in her video not everybody's ready for me how am I going to be able to tell how am I going to be able to know like you might have this anxiety about it like oh my gosh like who do I let in how do I know if somebody's ready to handle me or not how do I know if somebody is here for like a real connection or they just need healing right like, like how do I figure it out and Nine of Wands basically says that you know and you have had a situation where um, many times, many, many times, nine times actually, you've had a situation, uh, maybe, I mean, not maybe not literally nine times, but in the card nine times, you've had many, many situations where people have uh, kind of drug you through the ringer right? You've had battles in love and relationships and you've been lied to and you've been let down and you've been disappointed, 
right? But Nine of Wands basically says there's nothing new under the sun that anybody can come at you with. You've seen every manipulation. You've seen every mind game. You've seen every lie. You know it, Aries. You know it frontwards, backwards, sideways, in between. You know it up, down, all around. You've seen it. And so Nine of Wands says as long as you allow yourself to listen to that powerful intuition that you have as you're coming into the High Priestess energy and that beautiful, beautiful encyclopedia <laughs> volumes and volumes of experiences that you've had you know what the red flags are you know like if you start talking to somebody or somebody comes in and they remind you of an ex or they remind you of somebody who let you down that's a pretty good indication that's like that's like your inner kind of a uh, protection voice coming up and saying hey remember that person uh this is gonna be a repeat of that well, you can listen to it. The chemistry might be intense because when you're a healer and you're around people who are broken, it's very like like sparks, sparks, sparks flying. And we mistake that spark for soul connection and we mistake that spark for like chemistry. Uh, but really, it's just, you know, gasoline and fire, you know, or uh, or just something that might be very combustible that might not necessarily end very well for you. So... This is like basically spirit is saying, just listen to your intuition, listen to what your gut's telling you, but also just pay attention. If you see red flags, you know what the red flags are, don't ignore them. As long as you do this, then you don't have to be afraid about talking to somebody or giving them a chance. Because if you start to see things that don't seem right, you can go ahead and nip it in the bud right away. Instead of ending up in a situation where you're in this terrible karmic cycle for like years and years and years on again, off again, you have the power to avoid that. And that's what you're finding this month in June, Aries. I feel you're finding your voice and your identity and your power in your love life. And you're making a really massive shift where you're just like, you're ready for, like I talked about in some of the other videos, the, the uh, full moon eclipse in Sagittarius, which is going to be about authenticity, about freedom, about living our best life. Like you're also bringing that into your love life. You're like, I, I'm going to live my best life in my love life. And I'm going to be who I am. And I'm going to be accepted for who I am. And I'm going to you know, be able to do the things I want to do and, you know, be with somebody who is honoring that, right? Who's, who's doing this with me. So I also feel, um, what's happening is a lot of you are changing the kind of person that you date. Okay. Because in the, in the past you've been going about it like, oh, but my friends and family really like this person, or this is the kind of person that would make my parents really happy. I feel something is happening in June Aries where you're like, you know what though, I'm going to be the one living with this person, right? For, for the rest of my life, you know? So, so you're, you're beginning to say, what do I want? What makes me happy? Not what I'm to to being told I should go for, but what do I want? You know, and so I do feel there's some kind of a shift. You might be changing uh, your type. You might be changing um, uh, the person that you date or the p person that you see. I do feel that if you're somebody that has been uh, hiding uh, attraction um, in like same gender relationships uh, or... Uh, or gender identity, like, you know, maybe you, you're, you know, where, where you're identifying. Um, and if you've been kind of like struggling with, uh, telling people about this, or if you've, if there's people in your life, like maybe some people know and some people don't, I feel whatever's happening in June, like you're really, really, really like, you're like, no, I don't, I don't want to, you know, carry this as like a secret. Like it, I, I don't want to be walking around with this. It's like, you know, something I need to like make sure people don't find out. And you're like, it's hindering me. It's hindering me in my life. It's hindering me in being happy in relationships or being able to explore relationships. So I do feel for some of you, there's some kind of like, you're like, I don't care. I don't care what they're going to say. I don't care how they're going to deal with it, how they're going to feel about it. Some of you might be um, kind of uh, being... Uh, <sighs> 
I don't know. I, 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 I don't even feel like you're sitting anybody down and talking about it. I just feel like you're not doing the same things as before to try to like keep it under wraps. You're like, oh, well, you know, if they find out, they find out. Um, you know, so, but you're like, you're not, you're not hiding. You don't want to hide anymore. Uh, so I feel that energy for some of you as well. We're going to go ahead and pull your spirit message, Aries. My gosh, your video is a lot longer than other ones. See what spirit message is coming up for you in love and romance. And as always, I encourage you to watch your moon sign, rising sign videos, uh, Venus, if you haven't already. Some months those may resonate with you more than others. If you'd like a private reading with me, you can schedule on Calendly. I'm sorry. I love it when spirit really, really confirms something so like black and white, like so plain in front of our in front of our faces. It says Pay attention to the red flags. The sign signs are cautioning you. There's awfully tempting energies coming up. Whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship, prepare for temptation. Prepare for temptation. But listen to the red flags. Not everyone is ready for you, my dear. Okay? Uh, and not everybody uh, is coming at you from a healthy um, emotionally available place. They want you that you're not imagining that they want you and you might want them, but anything that doesn't feel right or set right with you, do not ignore those red flags. Okay, my dears. So again, watch your moon sign, rising sign, Venus. Uh, you can schedule a private reading with me through Canly. If you guys want more like love and compatibility in terms of astrology, uh, Truly Divine is still offering you guys those unlimited 30% off reports uh, when you put the Angel 30 discount code in. And a lot of people have been having a good experience with them. Definitely check that out. Uh, and I thank you guys for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I'm wishing you all a wonderful week. Take care. A uh, month, I should say. Hopefully, I'll see you in the weekly forecast, but I'm wishing you all a wonderful month. Take care.